Hola, soy Flor y en esta video lección vamos a ver verbo gustar conjugación. So I'm going to teach you how to change the verb gustar when you want to say I like or I'm interested or I love. So let's have a look at the verb gustar. So we use it when we express feelings, preferences, interests, in interests and opinions um, when we talk about things people or activities. So when we want to say, I like this activity or I like this person, I like this thing, we use me gusta, I like. When we want to say, I don't like this, we say, no me gusta. And uh, the conjugation, conjugación, it's for the third person singular. We use it in the singular form when we refer to one object, un objeto, or un verbo en la forma infinitiva. When we are saying, I like one thing, I like this, we say, me gusta. Or when we talk about an activity, me gusta leer, I like reading, okay? And it's always gusta. So let's have a look at the conjugation, conjugación. Verbo gustar. Me gusta, ejemplo, example, a mí me gusta viajar. Or you can also say, me gusta viajar. You can omit a mí. ¿Te gusta? Eh, ¿Te gusta aprender idiomas? ¿Le gusta? A Sofía le gusta patinar. ¿Nos gusta? ¿Nos gusta caminar? ¿Les gusta? A mis hijos les gusta leer. We can omit a mis hijos if this is obvious, but if the person doesn't know eh, who I'm talking about, I say, a mis hijos les gusta leer. There are other things that you can say instead of gustar. So if you don't want to say I like, you can say I'm interested in or I love. Interesar, encantar. So you can say me interesa, te interesa, le interesa, nos interesa, les interesa. Or encantar, which is more than gustar. So you can say me encanta viajar. Another one, te encanta viajar. Le encanta viajar. Nos encanta viajar, les encanta viajar. So, if you want to say more than gustar, you can use encantar, okay? This is something that we use and it's very common. So, remember, gusta, interesa, encanta. And uh, now we're going to see examples with un objeto or one verb. Let's see the first one, un objeto. Me gusta la historia griega. Me gusta mucho la comida japonesa. As you can see, it's one object. Historia, comida. What happens when I want to say more than one object? If I want to say, uh, me gustan los deportes. So I have to use the word gustan, as if it was in the third person singular. Gustan. Me gustan los deportes. ¿Te gustan los deportes? Le gustan los deportes. Okay. So we add the end at the end. If we're using a verb, it's always gusta. Me encanta aprender idiomas. I love learning languages. Me encanta aprender idiomas. Nos gusta nadar. Okay. And here, before I finish this video, I want to remind you this. When we are talking about one object, we say gusta. When we are talking about two or more objects, we say gustan. When we are using a verb or an activity, we say gusta, okay? So that's something that you have to remember. We never say me gusto because that's I like myself. But we, if we're talking about our interests, our preferences, we say gusta, okay? I hope this, this has been uh, helpful for you and clear. If you still have any questions or any doubts about the verb gustar, you can write them in the comments below and I'll be reading and giving you uh, feedback. So keep on watching the next video lessons in order to improve and learn more Spanish and I'll see you on the next le lessons.